Hello everybody, this is my 2006 Chevy Suburban with STL lighting. And let me show you my upfit here. We have a K-Force 47 inch special edition light bar. We call it special edition, it's their way of saying it's black. But with the black trim on here, it's real low key. It looks real nice. Uh, it doesn't stand out like other light bars do. Um, people still do the speed limit around me when I'm on the freeway. But otherwise, uh, it looks really uh, really sharp with all the black on the truck. Front brush guard right there. Uh, I've got uh, eight light heads around the truck. I've got four here on the brush guard. Two facing forward, which are red and blue. And then I've got two, or one each on the sides there for side warning. Down there on the running board, I've got another red light head. Got one on the other light, uh, running board as well. And in the back, I have a... Uh, horizontal license plate mount from STL with two light heads red and blue. I also got an extension which I found at AutoZone so I can get the uh, horizontal bracket to come up above the license plate which shows off my specialty plate which I'm really proud of there. Go Navy. Shameless plug. TexasFirewalkers.org. Go check that out. Inside the vehicle I have a really hard piece to find. That's a Havis console for this body style. This is the last year for this body style. And of course this body style has uh, been changed now twice. This is the one on the 2015 model year. This is the 2006 model year and it's been out of production for a while. So this is very hard to find and pretty pricey. I did find it at Strobes and More though. Here's the STL Ultra or Supreme Control module and the STL uh, Final Siren. I have a fit speaker. Uh, which is a little square speaker. It's 100 watts. Uh, STL is a really good product. Uh, I've had a few issues with them as far as taking on moisture and stuff, but they've been really good about getting those replaced. Um, I still have issues, and I think I, I've got one more lighthead to replace now, and when I do that, I think I'm going to uh, waterproof them myself and uh, see how that works. Uh, they are really good with their warranty. Uh, the one thing that I don't like about STL is this siren right here it only puts out about 95 to 100 decibels which is pretty loud but not as loud as the 100 watt wheel ins or show me's that are out there on police cars and fire trucks plus the tones out of here are uh, pretty low uh, low frequency versus the show me's and the wheel ins and the code threes which have a much higher frequency that everybody's used to so in my opinion it doesn't seem to work very well compared to the other brands uh, to clear traffic so uh, on my phase two build, I'm going to be replacing this siren with a uh, more recognizable brand. Sorry, STL, siren doesn't seem to cut the mustard, but it's still pretty cool for what it is. Now this was a budget build, this whole truck. So I spent uh, about $1,500 uh, when it was all said and done. That includes the wiring and the loom and the money I spent at STL. Uh, in the brackets and of course this is about 250 bucks right here which is probably one of the more pricier things besides the light bar uh and in the future of course i have a couple of switches i'm going to put here for different things i'm going to be adding some wig wags and a traffic backer for the tail lights of course i have led everything uh led turn signals led tail lights led backup lights uh, i went pretty much everything in the truck is led including the uh map lights and stuff uh with the exception of the headlights those are still halogen uh let's go ahead and turn them on now on the STL uh, Supreme Control, here is the light bar itself. Here's one thing I don't like about it as well. The front is down here where the back is up here. So my, my uh, uh, arrow stick and everything will show up on top and everything will be, all the other lights around the light bar will show up there. This is not backlit. That's another con to this whole thing. I wish these were backlit. Hopefully in the future STL decides to backlight uh, their modules. The siren, if I turn it on, it is backlit and it looks, you know, it lights up real nice at night. Uh, at night though, I have to know where my buttons are or turn on the light to, to look for my buttons. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Position one, STL comes on and the amber light comes on at position one. These are all my accessory lights. These are all the ones that are on the uh, brush guard and all my individual light heads. As you can see from the side, here's my side warning. These are not synchronized. They're not synchronized because for some reason, I cannot get them to synchronize on an alternate flashing pattern. 
there is a way to do this. I've talked to SEL and I've looked up on online on how to do this. Uh, and you include some, uh, putting a sync wire on a, on a single hot and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't work for some reason on the STLs. I've been successful at doing it on others, but it's not working now. Here's the front of the truck right here, synchronized, red and blue. And I also have the back synchronized to red and blue as well. You see I'm looking at the side. They do alternate once they get going on the flashes. And that works for me. It actually, this particular flash patterns I have going on now, I've tried various different ones and I ran calls with different flash patterns. These solid, instead of the, the burst flash patterns, the solid flash patterns definitely work better at clearing traffic than the uh, burst flash patterns that flash really fast. Uh, in my opinion, people can see them for uh, a lot further distance. So there's that. Let's go ahead and put it in position two on the slide switch. And position two will light up the indicator on the control module. This particular flash pattern is my favorite one out of all of them. Usually I like the flash patterns that uh, light up the whole bar at once. Uh, but in this case, this works real well because this doesn't have the comet flash pattern like I was talking about. It's the more solid flash pattern. And it's so fast that it still lights up pretty much the whole bar. So let's take a look at it from the front. If you look at it from the front, it definitely uh, lights up the whole bar. Now, this is something I noticed uh, just a little while ago that my front, once I turn the light bar on, the front seems to start losing sync. I'm gonna look into that and I'll let you know on a on an upcoming video as to what's going on with that. One of the future things I'm going to do is I'm going to change out my uh, one watt light heads on the uh, peg downs and alleys for three watts. That's something that's upcoming. I'll be getting those from STL. Now I've got two positions here for both take down and alleys. As you can see there, I have either steady burn or I can put them into flash mode just by hitting those switches. And they work really well because they definitely get out. Uh, the light waves get out and people will see them coming. So now, as you can see, it definitely lights up the whole top of the truck really well. And that sync pattern really kind of bugs me, but I will work on it, let you know what's going on with that. Could be my, maybe a wiring connection or something. I've gone through it to find tooth comb them. I'll let you know. So that is my lights from STL. I'm going to turn the volume all the way down on my siren here. And you can hear that. I don't want to alert my neighbors so bad. Horn. This is one thing I don't like is the manual. It does one whole cycle of the whale. And uh, it doesn't give me the chance to just momentarily hit it. Well, that's the only way to turn it off is to hit the horn. And it starts out real low as well as that tone I was telling you about. But the PA works, uh, actually people can hear me on the PA. Uh, going down the road when I have to respond to the station, uh, I usually hit highway speeds going down 361 over here. And uh, the siren's just not loud enough to get people out of the way. Uh, I've driven other apparatus and vehicles with uh, a wheel in or code 3 siren. And those actually do work a lot more decently than this one does. So like I said, the siren's something I'm going to replace. Sorry, STL. Everything else is great product from STL, especially for the money. And that's it. That's my 2006 Chevy Suburban with STL lighting. If you all have uh, any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you very much.